hello, hello, everybody. It is halftime, so we are going to go ahead and get into things as we do every Monday at halftime. Uh, trying something new here. Hopefully this works out a little bit better uh, using the computer instead of the phone uh, to go live. So let me know what you guys think, and that will determine whether or not we continue to use the phone or where we switch over to this computer option. So let us know in the comments what looks better, what works better for you guys, and we will make that happen. We have a pretty close game here. Uh, the Colts and the Titans uh, can't score many touchdowns, but they got quite a few, uh, quite a few uh, field goals. So hopefully if you've got anybody in your fantasy team playing tonight, they are doing well. Um, so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and hop into our questions for the day, for the night. Uh, question number one is about a Colt, and that is, who is the Indianapolis Colts all-time passing leader? Who is the Indianapolis Colts all-time passing leader? I think this one's more of a softball for you. Uh, starting off slow so everybody can get into things, get ready, uh, get warmed up for all the questions tonight. So we had uh, one question in. On to question number two. This one is actually one of one of my favorite, uh, or maybe not my favorite, but one of, one of my uh, more enjoyable uh, sports trivia questions. Um, in an ESPN article of the worst NFL draft picks of all time, what quarterback Drafted number two overall in 1998, tops the list. Again, um, in an ESPN article of the worst NFL draft picks of all time, what quarterback drafted number two overall in 1998, tops the list. So, if you guys know that, let me know, and uh, I'll let you know if you're right. Um, so, two questions in. On to question number three. This one's a little bit better of a draft pick. Uh, Max, yes, number one, The who is the Indianapolis Colts all-time passing leader? Max, you are absolutely correct. It is Mr. Peyton Manning. So, Peyton Manning, good job, Max. Question number three, everybody. Um, holding several NFL records, who is the best football player ever to come out of Mississippi Valley State? Um, now, I realize that that might be a little bit uh, a subjective thing, but, I mean, stats-wise and NFL career-wise, I think the argument um, is a pretty strong one. Holding several NFL records, who is the best football player ever to come out of Mississippi Valley State? That was question number three. Uh, Favre is not the answer. No, no, not Favre for either of the two. He's definitely not, <laughs> definitely wasn't drafted in 98. And he, no, he is not uh, the best player to come out of Mississippi Valley State. But great guess, great guess. Keep them coming. And that brings us to question number four. This is not about a player, rather about a team's helmet. So what is the only current NFL team's helmet that features a picture of a football helmet? What is the only current NFL team's helmet that pick, features a picture of a football helmet? Kind of a lot. <laughs> helmet, helmet, helmet. So... Again, I'll read that one more time for you if that was confusing at all. What is the only current NFL team's helmet that features a picture of a football helmet? So, question number five. What quarterback won the 2014 Heisman Trophy? So, these are uh, NFL questions. So, uh, it is definitely somebody in the NFL currently. Again, question number five, what quarterback won the 2014 Heisman Trophy? If you know that, let me know. I am going to hop back into, Della, it is not Brett Favre. No, nope, unfortunately not. Uh, question number two, I'm going to go back to it. If you guys uh, want to throw some, 
Mariota, Della, that's it. Great guess. So, what quarterback won the 2014 Heisman Trophy? That would be Marcus Mariota. So, good guess on that one. That is correct. Uh, we have three questions that have not been answered yet, so I'm going to read them again, uh, give you guys a second or two to think about it and write down an answer, type in an answer. I keep saying write down. I'm used to hosting. Uh, in an ESPN article of the worst NFL draft picks of all time, what quarterback drafted number two overall in 1998 tops the list? So this is worst NFL picks of all time. So uh, I haven't heard much about him in quite a few years. Um, but, yep, there it is, Max Reinleaf. That is it. He, uh, he definitely fell off the wagon uh, in a lot of ways. Uh, so, yeah, Ryan Leaf, great job, Max. You uh, got quite a few of these tonight. All right, on to that uh, Mississippi Valley State question. Holding several NFL records, who is the best football player to ever come out of Mississippi Valley State? <laughs> yes, Max, he did do some time for drug possession. <clears throat> not not the answer to this question, but the uh, the Ryan Leaf. Yeah, he, he, had, he had quite a... Quite a list of things that um, didn't do him didn't do him too, too well. Hopefully he's, you know, um, doing better now, but not so great. So, holding several NFL records, who is the best football player ever to come out of Mississippi Valley State? That would be Mr. Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice is the answer to that question. Mississippi Valley State. So, our last question that has not yet been answered. What is the only current NFL team's helmet that features a picture of a football helmet? Well, um, there you go, Tim. You got it. I think you were probably in uh, before, <laughs> before I t said the answer. I know the connection gets a little slow sometimes, but I think, I think I'm getting the answers in a little bit more quickly uh, using my computer instead of my, uh, my phone. So, I think I'll do this. Uh, going forward. So, yeah, we're, we'll be doing this every every Monday at halftime. So come back and join us. Uh, let's get this final question answered. Uh, the only current NFL team's helmet that features a picture of a football helmet. Well, uh, the Miami Dolphins used to have the Dolphin wearing a helmet, but that was changed. So it is not the Dolphins. Uh, yep, yeah, Della, you got Jerry Rice, too. Like I said, I think it probably came in, uh, or you probably put it in before. I revealed the answer. So good job on that, guys. And the football helmet question, the answer is the Oakland Raiders. The Raiders is the answer. So, yeah, Max, I didn't even see that one either. Uh, but, yeah, they, they, they used to. It's, it's a different logo now. Uh, so the Raiders are the only ones that have that currently. I could probably I could change, obviously. Uh, might change, you know. You know, they're always switching things up. So that'll do it for us today, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the five questions for your halftime. Hopefully you have a great, great night. And if you're rooting for the Colts, I think, Tim, uh, you probably are rooting for the Colts. I think uh, if you're rooting for the Titans, uh, go Titans. So that'll do it for me, guys. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful Monday and week. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you very, very much.